The naval battle of Texel or Battle of Kidjikdween took place on 21 August 1673 between the Dutch and the combined English and French fleets and was the last major battle of the Third Anglo-Dutch War, which was itself part of the Franco-Dutch War, during which Louis XIV of France invaded the Republic and sought to establish control over the Spanish Netherlands. English involvement came about because of the Treaty of Dover, secretly concluded by Charles II of England, and which was highly unpopular with the English Parliament. The overall commanders of the English and Dutch military forces were Lord High Admiral James, Duke of York, afterwards King James II of England, and Admiral General William III of Orange, James' son-in-law and also a future King of England. Neither of them took part in the fight. The Battle of Texel was joined when a Dutch fleet sought to oppose the landing of troops by a combined Anglo-French fleet. Prince Rupert of the Rhine commanded the Allied fleet of about 92 ships and 30 fire ships, taking control of the centre himself, with John II Destreus commanding the van, and Sir Edward Sprague the rear division. The Dutch fleet of 75 ships and 30 fire ships was commanded by Lieutenant Admiral General Michiel de Reuter, with Lieutenant Admirals Adrian Bankert in charge of the van and Cornelis Tromp the rear. The Dutch were under an even greater disadvantage than the above numbers show, as Dutch warships were on the average smaller than both their English and French opponents. De Reuter first decided not to leave his defensive position in the Schooner Veld, from which he had successfully engaged the Allied fleet in the double battle of Schooner Veld. However the Dutch spice fleet was returning from the Indies filled with precious cargo. With half the country under French occupation for almost a year, the Dutch Republic's finances were in disastrous straits. The Dutch could not afford to lose the wealth the Spice Fleet was bringing, let alone allow it to be captured by the enemy. As such stat holder William ordered de Reuter to seek to engage the enemy. Although outnumbered, de Reuter gained the weather gauge and sent his van under Adrian Bankert in to separate the Allied van from the main fleet. His ploy was effective, and the French ships were unable to play a significant part in the remainder of the battle, which became a gruelling encounter between the bulk of the Dutch fleet and the English centre and rear divisions. Both suffered badly during hours of fierce fighting, Sprague and Tromp, commanding their respective rear divisions clashed repeatedly. Sprague had publicly sworn an oath in front of King Charles that this time he would either kill or capture his old enemy Trump, each having their ships so damaged as to need to shift their flags to fresh ships three times. On the third occasion, Sprague drowned when his boat took a shot and sank. Because of Sprague's preoccupation with dueling Trump, the English centre had separated from the rear, clashing with the Dutch centre under de Reuter and Lieutenant Admiral A.E.R.T. Janse van Nes. The fight raged for hours, due to turnings of the wind each side suddenly gaining or losing the advantage of the weather gauge. Bankett managed to disengage from the French and joined the Dutch centre, upon which Rupert decided to move north to the rear squadron to prevent that he would have to fight a superior Dutch force, followed by de Reuter with the mass of his ships. The fight then focused on an attempt by the Dutch to capture Sprague's isolated flagship, the Prince, which in the end failed. With both fleets exhausted, the English eventually abandoned their attempt to land troops, and both sides retired. No major ship was sunk, but many were seriously damaged and about 3,000 men died, two-thirds of them English or French. After the battle Prince Rupert complained that the French had not done their share of the fighting, but historians ascribe the lack of French impact on the battle to de Reuter's brilliant fleet handling. It's true however that Count d'Estreus had strict orders from Louis XIV not to endanger the French fleet, as he himself admitted after the battle. Despite its inconclusive finish, the battle was a clear strategic victory for the Dutch. The Spice fleet arrived safely, bringing the much-needed financial reprieve. In the months following, the Netherlands formed a formal alliance with Spain and the Holy Roman Empire. 
The threat posed by German and Spanish invasions from the south and east forced the French to withdraw from the territory of the Republic. The Third Anglo-Dutch War came to an end with the signing of the Treaty of Westminster between the English and the Dutch in 1674. Fourteen years later the Glorious Revolution, which saw Stadtholder William III ascend the throne of England, put an end to the Anglo-Dutch conflicts of the 17th century. Only in 1781 would the Dutch and British fleets fight each other again. Ships involved England and France C.F. Journals and Narratives of the Third Dutch War, Roger Charles Anderson, Naval Records Society, London. Complete English ship lists are given for the naval battles of this war, but smaller vessels, e.g., fireships, of which there were many present during this action, are not included in Anderson's book, John Winkler White Squadron. 30 souls about 1828 guns 27 souls from the previous battle plus 3 new ones. Royal Therese 80 Ra Marquis de Martel. Pompu 70. Diamond 60. Red Squadron. 29 souls about 1870 guns plus 2 V Blue Squadron. 27 souls about 1690 guns plus 2 V Red Squadron Sovereign. A. London. V. A. Charles Bra, Royal Catherine, Henry, Victory, French Ruby, Edgar, War Spite, Old James, Triumph, Resolution, Rupert, Monmouth, Mary, Crown, Advice, Pearl, Fifth Rate, Blue Squadron Prince, A, Royal Charles, Saint, Andrew, VA, Cambridge, Saint, George, Unicorn, Henrietta, Dreadnought, Lion, Gloucester, Dunkirk, Monk, Bristol, Bonaventure, Ruby, Success, Fifth Rate, Guernsey, Fifth Rate, Division of Rear Admiral, A Blue Street, Michael, Ra, Swift Shore, Rainbow, York, Greenwich, Hampshire, Portsmouth, Foresight, Sweepstakes, Unknown Place, Fairfax, Plymouth, Anne, Happy Return, Princess, Newcastle, Yarmouth, Leopard, Nonsuch, Stavorin, Mary Rose, Diamond, Swallow, Assurance, Falcon, Mermaid, Fifth Rate, 